There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Hey, y'all, hey, hey, y'all, hey. It's your girl, hey. What's up, you guys? What's up? Y'all already know what time it is. It's about to be a she in haul, y'all, okay? She glam, she in haul, y'all. Y'all know, like, y'all can get everything off Sheen. Like, when I say y'all can get everything off Sheen, like, you could definitely get everything, almost damn near everything off Sheen. From the hair, to the outfits, to the accessories, baby, to the boots, to the shoes, to the purses, to the car stuff, to the baby stuff, to the men's stuff, to the women's stuff, to the kitchen sink stuff, girl, you can get everything off of she in, okay? To the makeup. So this it's about to be a she in all y'all for she glam okay and this video is being sponsored by she in so i want to say thank you so much y'all know i love she in what i've been telling y'all when you go to she in and you start buying stuff you get hooked like my daughter tati she just got a big old box from she in for all her nail stuff okay from the nail manicure table to the nail lights to the nail everything she's got a lot of stuff from there so she in is very addicting like straight up she in is very addicting you cannot help but to buy everything from she in okay so we about to do this video i'm about to show you guys my first impression of she is glam makeup i have plenty of she in glam in my makeup collection but they did send me some new stuff and i think some of the stuff i already had duplicates of but i'm also going to be bringing out some of my last year's she in glam makeup because i love this one setting powder that i use all the time instead of having to use foundation so i'm definitely going to incorporate that in this full face makeup video i know y'all like girl if you're about to do a full face makeup video why you got on a full face makeup well listen look okay first of all i had to do videos today i had to do some good videos today okay so of course i wanted to look cute so now i'm about to do my she in glam Haul. So I'm about to go take off my makeup. I'm, listen, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not taking off my eyebrows, okay? You're not supposed to take off my eyebrows because, for one, they are very time consuming. If they come out right, they stay on to the end of the night, all right? That's how it be. And I'm not really about to take off my eyeliner either because the eyeliner that they have supplied me with is a marker eyeliner and I really don't use that. And girl, let me tell you something. I am not the best with doing anybody's eyeliner. One be right here, the other one be over here. Like, it's always something different when it comes to my eyeliner. And I know they be like, oh, well, your brows ain't twins, but I be wanting my brows to be sisters, twinsies, all that, okay? I don't really give a dag on what you say. I need my eyebrows to be twins, okay? But I definitely be needing, I'm, I'm the one like, well, your eyeliner don't gotta be twins. Just don't look at me hard. I just keep my head like this to the side so you won't even really notice the difference. That's that's what I'm doing, okay? So I'm about to go take all this off. But girl, first we about to show off the stuff, okay? And look, if you like beatbox, then girl, how to, if you hear me, let's just do this. Let's do this, okay? So there is a lot of stuff to go through and I am here for it. Girl, listen, I'm here for it. So I'm gonna just go take this makeup off real quick. Except for my eyelashes and my eyebrows because they will just stay off. And then we're going to do this whole face. All right, y'all. So, <clears throat> you girl went and took her makeup off. Do you know how hard it is to wash your face and not remove your eyebrows at the same time? Girl, I had to really work around that. I did bring some of my other She Glam stuff into this whole monstrosity of goodness. So, the eyeshadow that I have on is not really eyeshadow. It's just pressed powder. So, I'm able to work over that. That's a cool thing. Let me just take a little sippy sip. Okay. Face is clean. Crystal clear. Freckles popping in all. We're going to get through this. Now, I did lay out everything. And I did bring some of my own little Shein things as well. Like my Shein blush. Because I really do like these. And I use them a lot so this wasn't sent to me but i'm going to be using this and i'm just going to kind of like incorporate some of my other products that you know she didn't send me like my moisturizer and stuff like that now they did send me one of their beauty blenders which i already had went and and wet and i put it back in here so that it could keep the dampness but i'm gonna open it a little bit so it kind of like air out and i also do have my own beauty blender because girl you know when you like what you like you like what you like and this one right here is like what i like what i like so i already went ahead and cleaned my face so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to prime it first i'm gonna use my primer spray right here girl I guess for this video, I would definitely need a mirror, right? That would be like really beneficial to me. So hold on. Okay, so we definitely, we ready, we ready to go. Spray a little bit more because I really did get a lot. And I'm trying to avoid my eyebrows. But let me tell y'all, to keep my eyebrows on hold, on fleek all day, stiff and nice, that way they don't move, I do use this on my eyebrows. That's to be, yes. I do use that on my eyebrows, so that way they don't move, girl. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not about to spend $26 on no Anastasia stuff when, um, that's to be work just as well. So this is set and primer spray, but I also use this in conjunction with, like, my actual facial primer liquid. Now I'm gonna go in with another one of my own products because I don't really like my eye area. Underneath my eye area, it's kind of dry, so I definitely want to use my own facial primer. This is anti-aging facial primer by Amazing Cosmetics. 
And this is just like really soft. I love this product. Okay. It's a silicone base. Like it does help smooth out your concealer or any type of color correction you're going to be using for the day. Now you can use this on your entire face, but I don't. Um, once in a while I will, but I really prefer to use it under my eyes. Now for my entire face, I use different types of primer. Right now I'm going to be using the Saint Laurent Facial Primer 24 Hour All Hours Primer. This one really is my favorite because it doesn't leave me oily. I have like the worst oily skin. This is like a pink color and it oxidizes and it works, it, it works, it works for me. I'm gonna let that dry a tad bit. I'm gonna go ahead and use my eye primer, my eyeshadow primer. And they didn't send me one, so I'm gonna use my own. Girl, it's still hot outside, okay? Let me tell y'all, I was driving in the car, okay? Please tell me somebody, please tell me why the damn car temperature said 104 degrees. Now, let's see what they sent me for eyeshadow. So this is the eyeshadow palette. This is the Vinyl Pop color palette. It's really cute, okay, the box, look at that. I thought this was so cute, okay? This is really, really cute. Look at this, it looks like a record player. Do y'all see, look how cute this is. It's like a little record player. It does come with a mirror, so that way you can take it on the go, girl, look at this. And the colors are neutral colors. You know, I like neutral colors. Why even no eyeshadow palette? I mean, no eyeshadow brush. Hold on. Okay, so I'm prepared. I'm not really sure what this is right here. The writing on the box is so tiny. Like, I can't see as it is. So this this portion right here is kind of greasy. I'm not really sure if this is for the actual eyeshadow base. It does say that it is. It's the bronze inspired metallic vinyl palette. This one is called Sunkissed Rivera. Rivera. I'm not really sure how to say that. So we're going to start out with this color right here. This is not a bad color. This is kind of decent color. It's like a, a like a rustic color brown almost. You're definitely gonna need some type of eyeshadow, you know, primer. That's you can use concealer. This is a nice color. At least it's blended in nice. That's the one thing that I do like about this. I'm gonna go heavy handed with it, girl. And then we're gonna take this lighter color right here. We're gonna put that on the brow bone. I like blended in. Okay, not bad, not bad. And this is really not my color for the brow bone, but we're gonna do this for today. We're gonna see how it come through. I'm gonna just be really gentle. And it does have like I guess this. I'm not really sure what this is. This is like a creamy color. Then we got a red and we got a gold. And then we have these neutral colors like down here at the bottom. But I'm also going to take um, a little tad bit of this color. Just a tad bit, but we're not about to get carried away. And we're going to put that in the inner corner, kind of like something like that. Not too much. Ooh, that's not bad though. I see you, Shein. Now I'm going to go back into that lighter color again because I really am trying to get the that reddish, that, that brick color to blend a little bit. Look, I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm not the best at this. So just bear with me. Now, I'm going to also go in with this pretty color right here. And it feels like hmm, it might work. Not bad, not bad, okay. And the clarity of the mirror is actually really good, you guys. This mirror is nice and sharp. You know how you get some cheap mirrors and sometimes they look a little bit wonky versus other mirrors? This is a really good mirror. This one is actually really nice and crisp, so I am liking that. I really want to try this brown, but I'm scared that it's going to mess up the look. So I'm going to go only at the corner with this dark brown. Oh, no, you know what? Just a tad bit, just a tad bit. Let's see, just a little bit, not too much. Yeah, you really can't tell because I'm I'm going light-handed. Ooh, hold up now. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I'm about to fuck it up. Now I got to make the match. God damn. I'm going to just go back to this brown right here. I had to, like, mute that a little bit. Girl, let me mute that a little bit. I have to go back to the red because that brown was a little bit too much and it really wasn't doing it. You definitely want to clean this up. Like, it's not a bad red. All right, not a bad look, not a bad look, okay? The one color that I'm really liking a lot is this, like, champagne color. Now, girl, look, that's it for the eyeshadow, okay? Not bad, not bad. So, let me tell y'all, like I said, I use only certain colors for, like, under my skin, my concealer. I did get a color corrector from Shein, and when I was looking at it yesterday, I was not really, like, a huge fan of it. I like the whole concept, aesthetically pleasing from the looks of it, but just to use it alone was not, like, I just really wasn't, like, a big fan of it. This is the triple threat color corrector. Look how pretty that looks, but here's the thing. We all have certain color tones that we need to use as color corrector. And none of these are my color tone. And when I did try it on the palm or the back of my hand, it comes out like that. It has like different colors, but it's very greasy and oily like, okay? So I'm not going to be able to use this because for one, I already have oily skin, so I don't think it'll hold well to makeup. Each person is different. Maybe you have different type of skin, but I did like the whole concept of this. The look of it was really, really nice. They did send me lighter shades of foundation to use as, you know, concealer. So I do have four bottles um, right here with me in the color caramel. And then I do have the color walnut. 
coconut and a cashew and cappuccino. Now, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Their color names are a little bit off versus the actual color spectrum. Now, this is caramel. So they do come with these cute little velvet bags, which is great. This one here is caramel. It seems like the color will work best for me. This color right here is walnut. And this is, to me, like a, looks like it has like a pink, peachish undertone to it. And that's walnut. And then this is cashew, which seems like it would be great because it's like yellow undertone. So between caramel and cashew, I'm feeling like good vibes. This is um, cappuccino. This is the new cappuccino. So for my under eye, because the color is so light, I mean, too dark, I have to use more or less like a peaches lighter tone. I have to use like really light tone. So I'm going to be using a Saint Laurent peachy color one. This works really good for me. And some people like to use their hand to put on their makeup. Some people use, like to use a brush or sponge. For my concealers, because the eye area is very sensitive and you don't want to tug and pull at the skin, I, I more or less like to you go back. To, I, I went back to using my fingers because I just found like it was a lot easier for me and it came out a whole lot better versus using a brush or a beauty blender. To each his own, you can use what you want, girl. I don't really care. But I'm going to go back in and let's see. I want to touch this makeup up a little bit because I feel like, you know, I could have did better. So you do want to make sure that it sits for a few seconds, a few minutes before you blend it in. And this just helps brighten up underneath my eyes. You know, there are different, I, I use uh, an array of different concealers when it comes to under my eye. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't like the concealer to be too thick because then once it's too thick, it looks kind of cakey. Now, right now I'm probably looking red and that's okay because this is just one layer of, you know, concealer. I'm also gonna go in with my Shot Miss A1 and I'm gonna also use that. And I'm gonna let this dry down for a second before I go in and, you know, start blotting it into my eyes. Okay, so I went ahead and blended this in, and this is this is better for me. It brings my color out. Okay, girl, look. So we're about to use one of these uh, foundations. Now I know that um, the walnut is not going to work, but I want to see will the walnut work for. And it has a plump top, which I'm pretty sure. Ooh, the walnut is not a bad color for concealer. Hold up, hold up. This is the walnut that I'm using right now. Oh, I like this. This is good for me. Okay, hold up. And the consistency is like a medium thick. It's not too bright. It's definitely not watery. It has some substance to it, okay? And they have a lot of colors to choose from. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. I really wanna use the beauty blender that they sent me to do it, but I know for my eyes, I like the angles. Let's see here. I was to use it's nice and soft once you wet it, wet it. It is nice and soft. You know what I want to know? Why when we do our makeup, we make these weird look faces? I know y'all see me, okay? I know y'all see me. But okay, the beauty blender is not bad. It's actually really soft. I'm gonna give it to them for this beauty blender. It's actually really, really soft and I'm liking it. Okay, so the almond did work really well for me when it came to, you know, underneath the eyes. Now for the face, I'm not really sure which one I want to use. Now they did send me some setting powder and this is their translucent one. Um, I have this and, or transparent, translucent, all same. I actually have this one already and I don't really use it a lot because it's very white. Um, it all depends on your skin tone, but I do like to use their other beauty, um, their other one. This one right here by them is amazing. I'm not sure if they still sell it, but it's called Dark Brown. Even though it's not, you can see it. And then this one right here, I love the most, called Dark Brown too, but it works. It's a perfecting setting powder. Like they're both setting powders, but one is better than the other. This is the translucent and you have like the compact side and you also have the mirror right here, which you can just take off the, the protective screen. It has a really great mirror. And then on the bottom, it has uh, the loose powder which is really convenient. I'm gonna try this out. A nice amount does come out. Now look, like I said, I don't really do white, but let's see. We're gonna let that sit for a second. But I really don't use this one a lot. Like I said, I already have this one and I don't really use it a lot because it's of the color. Sometimes they say it's translucent and then you have the flashback on the camera. So I like to use like ones that are colored, like banana powder. And now I'm trying to decide which foundation I wanna use for this. I have cashew and I have caramel. And I know cappuccino does work because I've used that, but this is right here, caramel. I like the pump top. It well, that's a lot. So this is the caramel, let me see, caramel, and this one is cashew. Of course, you gotta pump it a few times before it comes out. So they kind of almost look very similar. I think I'm gonna go for, they look very similar. We're just gonna go for caramel, cashew, or this one. We're gonna try, we're we gonna try this. We're gonna try this beauty blender. Now see, this is kind of, okay, we're gonna use this side. This is my bag, and this one is the cashew that I'm using. 
This is a definite good color match, okay? And this blender is not bad at all. And I'm one of those prequel that, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I like what I like. And I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person. And so the beauty blender that I've been using, I've, I've been using it for years, not that same one, girl. But I, I make sure to buy plenty of them as backups. And I only use that one particular brand. This one is not bad. This is really soft. Okay. So this is not bad. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that she in. She in glam. She glam. It's not bad. This beauty blender is actually a nice beauty blender, okay? The foundation did come out nice. It's not bad. Look at that. Full, it's not a full coverage because you, well, I'm not really sure if it's a full coverage. Let's see, what does the box say? What does it say? Complexion Pro. This is the Complexion Pro. Long lasting, breathable matte foundation. So you're definitely going to have a nice clean slate it's all day. It did do the trick. I like the coverage of it. I like the fact that it was a definite, it's a good color match. This is a really good color match. Plus, it's hard to buy a foundation when you look on the screen, when you're looking on the, the internet, because you can't see it first face value. But I think I did like a really good, you know, a really good match. You can look on their website and it will show you like different tones for each one. So I think I did like a really good color match with this one. And I was almost kind of like guessing, but I think it came out, it just it did come out decent. Let me just fix this over here with this eyeshadow. Cause girl, now y'all know I don't be wearing colors like this, but you know, we gotta just try it out. So this was definitely a good color match. Okay, so I'm liking the cashew. Cashew is definitely my color. It's got yellow undertones with it and whatnot. So this is definitely a good color tone for me. Um, I, To be honest with you, I think like cashew and caramel kind of look the same just to lighten that area back up. And then I'll just let that sit and dry for a minute. Um, they did send me some contours. I have some contours here, which is liquid contours. I have the color soft tan and I have vanilla frost. I'm not really, I'm not really sure about the vanilla frost. It's the name alone. Excuse me, this is a liquid highlighter. So <laughs> this is Glow Bloom and this is the liquid highlighter and vanilla frost. And I picked up the wrong one. Okay, so the two contours that I have, because they just sent me two contours, I have the soft tan and I have golden sun. So just from the look of it, you're gonna be able to so I'm definitely going to have to use the Golden Sun. This is more or less my own complex Yones, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Let me go ahead and dab this in to my skin. Okay, that's not bad. This is the liquid contour in, what color was this? Soft tan. I'm gonna show it to you. And it comes like this in these cute little bottles. I like the octagon shape and they're liquid. So, you know, they're liquid. This is definitely not a color for me. Oh no. This is like a grayish color. Who wearing this? And this one right here is Golden Sun. This is the contour for Golden Sun. This is, this I'm gonna use as a highlight, as an under eye concealer because this Golden Sun is way too light for me to contour with. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get my own contour color. So bear with me one second. Like I like to use contour, but I don't use it a lot. So when I do contour, I just use like a bronzer. And this one right here is one of my faves. Now, what they got else for me? What, what else do they got for me? Because they didn't give me any blushes. It's a lip liner. Oh, they gave me some, oh yes, I got liquid blush, okay? I have two liquid blushes and Love Cake and Rose Ritual, okay? Now, both of these colors screams April because, girl, listen, the two colors that I have for the dry blush are very similar to these liquid blushes. So the bottles look just like, you know, what I was just showing you for the console. They look like this. Really nice shapes. Now, I've never, I don't really do liquid blush, girl. So we're gonna see which I'm gonna use. So this one right here is the Rose Ritual. And from the color on the box, it looks peaches. Y'all see that? That's very bright, girl. I don't know about that one. This one is Love Cake. It's pink, so that might be what I'm going for. Okay, so we got a toss up on the two. <sighs> That's the blush, okay? I'm gonna just take my little... Ooh, okay, not bad. Love cake. This is love cake. Not too bad. I like pinks, but I'm going to definitely top it off with um, a highlight. Okay. Definitely going to top it off with a highlight. And the highlight that they sent me was this one right here, which is vanilla frost. And the tip is different. It's like a doe foot. A little definitely goes a long way, girl. Okay. I like the highlight color though, because this is the color I'll be using in like powder highlight. Yes, girl. I'm about to get I'm about to get highlighted up. Now you don't want the highlight to oxidize because girl, it'll leave like a kind of like a you'll see the, the line of demarcation, so. Okay. 
bad highlighter. I see you. Okay, the highlighter look. Look, the highlighter don't look bad at all. I like for my little brown cheeks right there to be lit, highlighted, okay? This right here is a Go Go Glow Highlighting Body Mist. Okay, so this afterwards. So we're gonna use this afterwards. I definitely wanna set my makeup, okay? What is this? Um, brow pencil. Okay, eyeliner pencil. So this is the brow pencil, and this is a retractable pencil. The color that they sent me was a little bit off, so that's the reason why, for one, I didn't use it. It is a great color. The color that I have is Auburn, which is not bad, but I don't really use like a crayon pencil like to do my brows, but I am gonna give it a try. But like I said, brows are on right, they on for the night. But I definitely will use it. I like the fact that it's retractable. You don't have to worry about sharpening it. But this is their She Glam Brows on Demand Full One Brow Pencil. Okay, so at the other end, there is what I like to use, which is kind of like a marker tip is what I use on a daily basis. And the one that I use is by NYX and I've been using it for like a couple of years. And this color is, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I like this Auburn. Okay, so you know what? Me personally, I would use my NYX one and this Auburn one by E Glam in conjunction together. I do like this Auburn color, and this is what the marker tip looks like. It's a very fine point, and as you can see, they are kind of different in color versus the pen and the pencil are two different browns. But I do like this brown. I don't like my brows to be too dark. To be honest, I kind of like this. I like this feel and this tip one is kind of dope though. This color Auburn, ooh girl, she glam be Ooh, child. Now they did also send me a liquid eyeliner and as y'all can see, I have an eyeliner already, but I'm gonna show it to you guys and I'm gonna spruce up my eyeliner. Now this is the one thing that I don't use whenever I do my makeup. I do not use marker eyeliners. The color they sent me was black. Um, I feel like these drag and tug on your eyes. They are very hard to be pigmented. So thank God I already have something on and I could just go over it. But it is like a good black color as you can see that. Definitely gave it some color, look at that. I really prefer liquid eyeliner. Okay, so it is comfortable, and I do like the thickness of them. I like the tip of the pen, of the marker. I have gotten eyeliner markers where the tips weren't like this, and they seemed like they just dried out and they wouldn't go over the eyeshadow great, and it did go on kind of easy. And I have some lip plumper, girl, yes. Mascara, and I have this in my makeup collection already, and it's a double-sided mascara wand. One side is bigger, so I'm gonna use this for my bottom lashes. Let me try the other end. That's one thing I'm real picky about too is uh, mascara. I only use certain brands. Some mascara don't hold on to your lashes like that. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of this mascara. That's probably why I already had it in my collection and don't use it like that because it doesn't really give me like that thickness of my, my lashes. But I'm gonna just continue to keep going. Sometimes you gotta let it dry in between and come back, you know? I like to use like a certain brand. I use MAC Isla, um Mascara, and it's the 3D Mascara, and I absolutely love it. So, you know, this just reminds me of like Dollar Tree Mascara. But you know, hey, to each his own. Everybody has their own preference. Have a lip liner set. I'm not really that great for my lips. Okay, so now what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use my Perfect Setting Powder by Sheen Glam. I love this stuff. And the color I have, like I said, it's a dark brown. Now, I have some lipstick and I have a lip plumper. I wonder if it's one of those lip plumpers that's gonna be tingly. This one, it looks like a lip shine lip plumper in the color Sophia Kiss. Oh no, I don't feel no tingling. Maybe it's gotta set in the tingling. I know lip plumper's supposed to make your lips tingle. And there's one particular brand that I always use and I know that I had like a, a tingling lip. I ain't feel no tingling here, girl. We just gonna move on. Is the lip liners and every color that they sent me was like, oh girl, how you know I like those colors? Okay, so I have the color Brazen, Neutral, and Concrete Jungle. I think I'm gonna use Brazen. I cannot find the name on the pencil cause I can't see and I don't, I don't really see the name anyway. So I don't know which color this is, but Brazen is the darkest one. This one looks like it's going to be called neutral not bad color right here the next one this is it next to it this might be concrete jungle this might be concrete jungle i'm not really sure last one that i have here i think this is brazen yeah this is brazen so it looks more like a peachy color okay so we're gonna have to go with um we're gonna have to go with concrete jungle which is the middle one i'm not, not too crazy about this eyeshadow but you know whatever that's only because i like to wear everything neutral it glides on really, really nice. 
not a bad color. I feel like a harlot right now, like a like a like a, like a harlot. You know what I'm saying? Like a Jezebel. I think it has to do with the eyeshadow colors. I don't know about that lip plumper, girl. They sent me two of these, and these are lipsticks. This one is long lasting matte lipstick, and this one is take a hint lip tint. The long lasting matte lipstick. Let's see what color they sent me, because girl, you know I don't be wearing no crazy looking color. Packaging is really really cute. Packaging is really really cute. Okay, Shein, you know me. This one right here is in the color what? I key. Um, I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all know I'll be trying to look like no lady in a tramp, okay? Now this is the take a hint lip tint. This is a totally different... This is a totally different... Okay, it's so rude. This is a totally different packaging too. This is it by itself right here. And if you put it over... Okay, we're gonna try this. We're we gonna try this. We're gonna take a little bit of this. And then we're gonna take a little bit of this. Okay, so it's not bad. Now, the last thing we're gonna try out is this Glow Highlight Body Mist. So this is for your whole body. You know. Hi, Sharina. Hi. Come on. My daughter-in-law's here, y'all, okay? So my daughter-in-law's here. Come on in. Where I'm always at, girl? Working. Ew, is that perfume or? No, this is a... You wanna say hi to everyone? No. Why? You look no. cute. She always <laughs> looks cute. Why she don't wanna say hi? She be rude, y'all. No. cute. Glow that's a highlighter? and Body Mist, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so you gotta take the little top off and you probably gotta take this thing out right here. All right, we're about to I'm gonna put on my boots. Oh, that'll be perfect. Yeah, that'll be nice. Oh, you see it? Uh-huh. That looks nice. Oh, shoot. Mm, you look pretty. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So this is this is the final finished look. This what this do. It make you can put this on your entire body if you want to. But this is the finished look. All right, y'all. So this is the final finish look. The eyeshadow is the one thing, the darker color, but I think it still came out just like really nice. If you were on a budget and you need some makeup or you just want to build your collection out, She Glam has plenty of stuff. I think the foundation worked out really well for my skin tone. You know, I like the highlight. It really did come through. You know, you just got to dap it, but I do like, I like the color. And but look, girl, I got on some Sheen earrings. I'm a Sheenista, okay? That's what we're going to call ourselves. We're going to call ourselves a Sheenista. I'm going to try to blend it in a little bit better. All right, that looks a little bit better. Look, I'm gonna leave everything down below. You already know. I will see y'all in another video. I love you all. Thank you for hanging tight. Sorry if the video took longer than normal, but you already know it's a makeup video.